Hey guys, welcome to another Hub Japan video. Today I want to show you the iClick software. This is Digitaki software for you to do any sort of visual content and you want to embroider it. You can also use this to an extra buck. If you already have a embroidery machine and embroidery business, you can just add this to your skill set and you will be earning around $10, $15 per design depending on the complexity. Uh, well, this is just a quick announcement. Now let's get to it. <clears throat> First, uh, you're here in the interface of the software. You got to go to the image uh, section and you go to import uh, here and I have a Japan asset file and you just look for the H logo which is our logo but we use this for presentations or any sort of social media content because it's more reduced as you can see it gives you a grid it gives you the rulers but it's not centered as you can see here so we're gonna just put zero onto it and zero here so it's centered here's the measurement is in millimeters you can use it in inches I'm gonna use it in millimeters just so it be a little bit more universal if I want to border it I'm gonna do it a tad bit smaller and as you can see here and this doesn't happen in all the designs it's only if your design is like square because squares are even in height and length but if you change one of either of these parameters the other one or other one's gonna change so we're gonna use it for 12 uh, centimeters or around four inches or four or five inches so we're just gonna um, like set it so it doesn't move we we'll press this option here that says lock on the unlock background now this is a really quick logo first thing we're gonna do is we are going to set our background and we're just uh, we're gonna use our tatami tool this is the one I already used. If you want your lines to go like really, really straight, when you cut, just press Control, and it will just straight up. Then, just remember this is a preview of how it's gonna look. Now, uh, up here you can change the density and parameters of it. So in this case, I want it to be around 0.4 so I apply it and if you want to see how it will look on the thread you just gotta go to here and there it is as you can see it's just square here you can see the number of stitches now this is too much so I'm gonna actually reduce the, the remove this frame because it's not gonna be necessary because you're actually just gonna need this little red square so for you to be able to do this curves, you gotta use the right click of the mouse. Just start actually doing the exterior shape of the figure. If you have a line that's not that straight, don't worry. You can just straight that up in the settings at the end. I'm gonna show you how it just me in it. So I know it's fine script. Wait, I can modify that. Okay. So this is how I wanted to look. And we go to here. We are going to change the density for something around 3.0, something like that. And we also gonna do this um, option, as I was saying. If anything goes wrong or whatsoever this doesn't go as well in the brightness you can just change it here just lines if it's a little bit lift up if it's a little bit so yeah just get a little eye and that's it just you know you can check it and there it is your actual design that's how it's going to look in thread if you want to give it a, a quick sneak peek you can just go into the 3d still out well, you can just shift f2 if you want a shortcut now you can check here if you wanted more density right now i'm using a 0 0.3 it's using around 8,000 stitches but if you want it to do less you can uh, amp up the density of the stitch 
this is not going to be important, it's just, just for you to see. So next thing we're going to do the H, the intermediate H right there. So we, we change the perspective so we can see through. Um, I don't know, I'm going to show you how to actually change the orientation of the stitch. I'm going to do that in a minute. So we do the same process. We actually start doing this. And try to follow it as close as possible. Remember, again, you can just modify it if you need to. But and we're going to change this density to around 0 0.3 again. Just click on this and change the orientation of the stitch and we're going to change the color of this to a bigger color a wider color I'm sorry so that you can see our H is actually there change the perspective looks looks okay right of course this, this as I said this right here is the number of stitches you can just reduce this by reducing the number here and the which this is the density of the stitch that means is the amount of uh, thread that is going to be put into a design or to an object in this case. So if you want your object to you want to save thread and save stitches and take time whatsoever, you can just make it a little bit more dense. If you want this to be a really really small design, you want a closer uh, density stitch. In this case is just for just for you guys to see. Uh, if I put like five, for example, and I click here, it reduce around a thousand stitches. If I go here and I put 0 0.3, for example, it went up like for a thousand stitches. So it's just for you guys to see that this is just a parameter you can just set and or change. And we're going to do the outer part uh, just for you guys can see that you can replicate any sort of design and as I said you can just put control into it I did this before but uh, try to do this like any sort of background any sort of thing that involves uh, bigger designs just try to do it at the end for just matters of security so in, instead I can actually just change the ordering here this little frame here gives you the option to change the order of the objects you're going to embroider. If this wants to cooperate, sorry. There it goes. So you can just change the color. Just, just one quick notice, guys. The color you've seen here is not actually the color that's going to be embroidered. It's just an instruction for the machine to know that there's going to be a color change and for them to know that when you actually put them in your machine, the machine is going to recognize that it's a different design, that it has a certain amount of colors, that it has a certain amount of objects. So software is smart enough to make the changes for you. Just remember to um, set any sort of design. In this case, our design is ready. As you can see, it's a lot of stitches. I'm not going to leave the background. I just wanted to do it for you guys to see how it's going to look. Uh, if we wanted to save this, we go to File and checking all the parameters of like, for saving. Let me just change the orientation of the stitch. In this case, facing down, so it looks different. Just try to try to change the orientation of the stitch depending on what you want to do. So also, if in here, for example, since it's a figure inside another figure, you want to change the orientation so it doesn't. Uh, shrink and it doesn't loosen up when you're trying to embroider it in this case i just wanted to do this guys where you can see how it looks so before anything just press ctrl s or go to save i'm going to save this as happy logo so you can uh, actually know and for us to actually save this file and be able to embroider it we're going to go to export and i'm going to choose the dsp uh, format. We go to the libraries. We can just go to documents if you have a specific file for that. 
or a new folder for that. You just happy logo .dst if you want to do it. I'm just gonna do happy logo. Okay, so just press save, and that's it. That, that was it for it, guys. So today, just to recap, learn how to use our tatami tool, how to make backgrounds, and how to actually digitize a logo. We're gonna be embroidering more. Uh, we're gonna be embroidering this and more designs soon uh, when we have a tad bit more time for making content for you guys for our YouTube channel. This is just a quick uh, video we wanted to make to show you guys how easy it is and how fast you can actually start earning money with a happy machine. Um, then again, remember to call us and if you are in our YouTube um, page, if you are in our Facebook, go give us a like, go subscribe to our YouTube channel. And then again, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope this is really resourceful and useful for you guys. Thank you and goodbye.